All right, so we got three printers here that are identical. The only major difference is the size and they're made by Elegoo, which makes great printers. And these are the Neptune 3 models. So we got the Neptune 3 Pro and then the Max here, which is the largest one. And then we have the Plus, which is the medium one. And you guys can see we're printing three vases while well, one of them's done, which is the largest one, in spiralized mode on each printer so you guys can see a little better the difference. And they are printing the maximum height. So starting with the smallest one, which is the Pro, it's the most different from the other two. And we'll go through the details in a second. But first, let's talk about the volumes. So here we have 225 by 225 by 280 tall. Yeah, it's a little bit larger than the normal printers, but still very, very small compared to the other two. The Plus here brings it up quite a bit to 320 by 320 and 400 millimeters tall which is quite a bit larger than the pro so the plus is my favorite as it's kind of like the middle ground now the max is huge and it brings the volume to 420 by 420 by 500 millimeters tall and you guys can see that you know 500 is a whole 100 millimeters more than this one here so as far as prices go officially the max which is the largest one starts at 470 and this is in dollars and the plus is at 350 and the pro is at 230. So we're gonna look through these and I'm only gonna jump between them once there's a bigger difference. So we're mostly gonna be jumping between the Pro here and the Max or Plus because these two are very, very similar. So starting on the top, the spool holder and the filament detector, they're all the same on each one. And the way they mount is you just screw down to the frame. And speaking of the frame, they're all also the same aluminum frames. Also, they are all tethered with the belt between two lead screws, which is a great feature and helps to synchronize the two sides. And we have metal brackets here. Now, more importantly, let's get to the hot end assembly. And these are, believe it or not, exactly the same on all three of them, which is really cool to see because you can get the same kind of hot end even on their most budget pro printer here, which is a direct drive, dual gear extruder. It's got the silicone sock, dual cooling fans here on the side. So it works really good and very precise and no issues with it at all. And it comes on all three printers. And the cable management is also exactly the same. We do have the same X axes with the adjusters on X and Y. They are implemented a little bit different, but pretty much the same thing on each printer. Now, one of the big differences between these two is the stabilizing bars that keep the gantry from moving around as this printer is much smaller, the Pro. It doesn't have those and probably doesn't even need them. So yeah, that's one main difference. Another main difference is the bed rides on one channel here while the Plus and the Max have two that it rides on. And speaking of the bed, another huge difference is this bed here is not adjustable at all. There's not even manual adjustments. So it's actually much easier to get started with this one. You just out of bed level and you're ready to go. Now with the Max and the Plus, you do have adjustable knobs and there's actually three of them on each side so even the plus here has three knobs and the way the beds adjust here is that you start from the center out so the center is hard adjusted so you can't go up and down and then you kind of adjust the edges to the center so a little bit more complex but definitely not hard and they all do have out of bed leveling which takes points on the bed and then compensates and they all work great which use this induction sensor on the bottom of the hot end so naturally the enclosures are a little bit different on the Pro here compared to the other two. The other two are more similar in design, the way they are. They all have the same ports here and internals, except for the power supplies. The power supply is smaller on the Pro here compared to the other two. And they all use the same ports, which have the micro SD card that goes upside down. And then we have the screen here that plugs in and it is magnetic that comes off the holder here, which is really nice. And they're all the same on all three of them. And they're very nice quality screens, very bright, and there's quite a bit of settings on them. If you don't touch it for a while, they do dim down, which is a nice little feature, and they work the same way on all three. Also, we do have large squishy rubber feet on each corner, and they're all the same on each printer. Now, one thing that the Pro and the Plus doesn't have is this really nice storage on the Max. That pulls out and you can store your tools and it's quite a large bin that fits quite a few things in there. So I wish they would implement this at least into the Plus. I'm sure there's enough room in there. It's understandable maybe why this printer doesn't have it. Now one thing I totally missed is these LED lights here which are controllable here on the screen even as you're printing and we can turn them on and off which is a nice feature. They are a little bit on the bluer side but still look very nice. Every printer has them. They're just longer. Uh, this one's quite a bit longer and this one's also pretty long too so yeah lots of light coming down 
from all three of them. Now another major difference on the Max compared to the other two is the Max has a much larger or thicker belt on the Y axis because of the big bed and the other two use more of the normal thinner one that come on most 3D printers. So they all have the PI sheet and the Max has a huge one and these things are great as you can print large items and they pop right off and the sheets are flexible so it's really easy and extremely durable material. So all the printers preheat to the same temperatures 100C on the bed and 265 for the nozzles there. So they are not high temperature printers but can print most of the materials out there including ABS. And as you guys can hear, maybe they are pretty quiet. We got two of them running and it's not loud at all. So yeah, I mean, these printers are nice guys and Elegoo kind of uh, shocked the 3D printing world because of the value that these things bring. I feel like they're probably the best thing you can get for your money these days, especially if you're on a budget. Now, if you would ask me which one is my favorite, I would have to probably go with the plus because it's kind of a medium between the small one and the large one as you can get quite nice prints done with this of any size practically. And the max here is kind of big so you really need to have a large area to store it and to even use it. The pro is definitely the more friendly and easier to use for beginners as you don't even need to even level the bed just push a button for out of bed leveling and you know it's ready to go so yeah if you're getting started and you want to get into 3d printing and you know you want to hassle free the pro is the best one for sure but if you do want you know more flexibility and just a better printer overall for the long term I would definitely go with the plus now if you want to splurge and go all out and you want to print huge things the max here really does the job having that incredible build volume the only thing to mention is these are quite hard to get lately here as i think elegoo didn't realize the demand that would be for these so if you can't get one yet be a little patient hopefully they'll have them out and i also hope they keep their prices as they're extremely friendly and can get a lot more people into 3d printing so for everything you get in these machines in my opinion they're an excellent value and in my experience very reliable and durable so we're going to let these two prints print out and we'll get to see a little better between the three vases of the volumes that these printers put out. All right, so all three of our vases are printed out. So the Pro here did it in five hours and 30 minutes, and the speed was about 50 millimeters a second, 0.2 layer height. And the Plus here took 13 hours and 38 minutes, also with the same parameters. And I don't remember exactly how long the Max took, but it was about 18 hours or so. So to demonstrate how well these PI sheets work, we're just gonna try to pull this off. So we're gonna raise it, and what we gotta do is just gotta flex this, and you guys can see it just pops right off easily. And if I try to force it off here, there we go, simple as that. And that's how easy and how well these PEI sheets work on these printers. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put these vases together and we're gonna see the difference a little better closer up. All right, so here are our three vases and yeah, you guys can see from the Pro, it's quite a bit smaller. Then we got the Plus and then we got the Max. So this is the maximum height on all three. So because the Pro is actually 280, this is actually much bigger than most of the competitors for it, as in the height. Most of them are about 250, this is 280. So it would be quite a bit smaller normally. So yeah, these are very large for their size for sure and the max is just incredibly big and i don't know if you guys noticed here in the background i put the pro inside the max and this kind of shows you the scale of the max it's quite a large as the whole pro fits on the max build plate and even kind of fits up there too pretty cool so yeah guys again if you want a printer that's quite reliable and a good value you can't go wrong with these neptune 3s no matter which one you choose so hopefully this video was pretty helpful on some of the differences between the three and the volumes that they can print and i think i didn't mention you can obviously do tpu with the reg drive so they work great for that also so yeah very versatile and great for anyone that's just getting started or if you've been already printing and you want to upgrade your printer or just get something additional and hopefully elegoo will have these in stock soon so check out the links below and if you enjoy videos like this stay tuned for more and i'll catch you in the next one